Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis gave Architectural Digest an inside look at their stunning eco farmhouse, and it's flawless in every way. While many Hollywood stars choose lavish mansions in Beverly Hills, this couple wanted something a little less typical, but no less impressive. However, with rumors of a divorce going around, what would happen with the couple's custom Los Angeles home? Originally built in the 1930s and renovated in the 1980s, the six-acre property was redesigned with choices from both Mila and Ashton, each of them creating separate Pinterest boards to shape their dream home. In addition to the main house, the estate features an entertainment barn with 19-foot sliding doors and a stunning crystal chandelier. The grounds also include a barbecue pavilion beside the family pool, which is decorated with unique floating chairs. Old photos of Ashton Kutcher and Sean Diddy Combs partying have resurfaced after Combs' recent arrest, though another source clarified that Ashton has no involvement and apparently has only met Diddy at a few social and business events. After these photos, rumors of Ashton and Mila splitting up have also been traveling fast. Despite this, a source says that these divorce rumors are ridiculous and false, dismissing speculation linked to Kutcher's past interactions with Diddy as well. Ashton and Mila met many moons ago on That 70s Show and began dating for real in 2012. They married in 2015 and have two children, Wyatt and Dimitri. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis' main residence is a custom-built farmhouse mansion in Los Angeles designed with the sustainability and style in mind. After five years of work, the couple proudly revealed their dream property to Architectural Digest back in 2021. Located on a six-acre Beverly Hills estate, the property features a main house, guest house, entertainment barn, and a separate barbecue pavilion all set along a central axis to optimize the stunning surrounding views. Mila shared, we wanted a home, not an estate, while Ashton added, we wanted the house to look like an old barn that has been here for decades but also feel modern and relevant. They affectionately named their home Cuckoo Farms, drawing from their last names. Inside, the couple's house boasts reclaimed wood, floor-to-ceiling windows, and unique design elements like a 10-foot crystal chandelier that they brought from their former home. The rustic yet modern aesthetic is consistent throughout the property. They worked with architect Howard Backen from Backen and Gilliam Architects to create the solar-powered, eco-friendly home complete with a well for irrigation, a harvested cornfield, and agriculture prime soil. The interior highlights include a wraparound porch, open living and dining space with a cozy fireplace and oak floors. One standout feature is the massive dining table for 10, complemented by antique rugs, a piano, and a steep mansard roof. Over in the kitchen, it's equipped with designer pendant lights, a large island bar, and a breakfast table, while a bar area connects the living room to the kitchen. Their home also has a luxurious master suite with a private terrace and a master bath featuring silver thrones from India. There's an office off the master bedroom, as well as a guest room with rustic bunk beds. A romantic courtyard offers hilltop views. The entertainment barn doubles as a guest house with two bedrooms and a bath. Its 19 foot tall glass doors and custom sofa make it a perfect space to host with the crystal chandelier as a focal point. Ashton summarized their feelings about their home saying, when we're in our home, the world just makes sense. The wooden farmhouse perfectly suits their young children, Wyatt and Dimitri as well, with their room featuring double bunk beds and plenty of toys. If Ashton and Mila ever were to get divorced, they would have another property to think about, their vacation retreat in Santa Barbara. Ashton and Mila's beach house features six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and spans 3,100 square feet, consisting of two separate buildings, a main house of over 2,000 square feet near the street, 
as well as a one-story, 1,000-square-foot cottage, which they once listed on Airbnb. The main house is designed with wide plank white oak floors and an airy white palette throughout. Its open kitchen and spacious dining area are ideal for hosting, while the family room adds a pop of color with blue couches and includes a cozy fireplace. Upstairs, a great room with a vaulted ceiling, TV, fireplace, and walls of glass opens to a balcony overlooking the grounds and ocean. The master suite provides Ashton and Mila with a private porch perfect for relaxing. Outside, a small estuary wraps around the home, creating a natural water barrier. A fenced front yard adds charm, and while there's no swimming pool like many other homes on the street, the couple enjoys direct ocean access along with an above-ground hot tub. The nearby two-bedroom guest cottage is a white clapboard structure with a nautical theme featuring ocean-inspired blues, weathered wood, wicker, and white accents. A deck here provides stunning views of the Pacific Ocean, while the front of the home looks out towards the San Inez Mountains. It also includes a fully equipped kitchen, plush sleeping quarters, and a selection of board games for classic family fun. As rumors swirl about Ashton and Mila's possible but unlikely divorce, their beautiful collection of homes would also have to be considered. For now, we can see their LA property and Santa Barbara Beach House are custom spaces where the family comes together. For now, that'll wrap up this house tour. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.